This film about blacklisting and communism comes from the same guy who directed Meet the Fockers, Meet the Parents, Dinner for Schmucks, and The Campaign. Well, let's see how this turns out. Alright guys, so Trumbo. In Trumbo, we follow Brian Cranston's character Dalton Trumpo, Trumbo based on a true story of how when he was a part of the Communist Party, he, he wasn't allowed to write scripts for movies anymore as he was a very talented screenplay writer. However, now that when he gets out of prison, he, he's on the blacklist, so when he's writing his scripts, he's always adding pseudonyms to them, and we're just seeing really what goes on behind the scenes, what was really going on in his life during this time period about around 50s to the 70s and we also have someone who's trying to basically catch him and stop him from doing this being played by Helen Mirren and that is our movie now I was really excited for Trumbo I heard great things about it I also enjoy the cast in this Brian Cranston Helen Mirren Louis CK John Goodman I didn't even know who he was gonna be in this but I went to go check it out, and also the trailer just really intrigued me. And how was it? Well, let's find out. Trumbo is a great movie, guys. If you haven't seen it, I highly suggest you do check it out. And let's get into why. First of all, we have the performances. The performances by everyone is fantastic. But basically, though, the standout in here is Brian Cranston as, D I almost said Donald Trumbo, but Dalton Trumbo. He does a fantastic job in here. He really plays this character, but... He doesn't over. He doesn't play it over the top, and he's a character that, while you obviously don't agree with his decisions a lot of the times, you still find him to be a very interesting character to like. Just you know, follow in this story. Also, I like the supporting cast. Louis C.K. did actually a pretty solid job. I didn't know he was a, like actually a pretty good actor, but he is. Helen Mirren. Oh, I hated her character so much, but you were supposed to. So that was done really well. John Goodman was, I mean, he's John Goodman. He can really make anything at least serviceable, and he gives a great performance in here, as always. So overall, performance-wise, this movie, it was really good. Also, I have to mention, though, what, like, what, as his daughter and his son, as his two daughter, daughters and his son are growing up, all of the actors that were used in that growing up, they all did a wonderful job, so this movie had kid actors that surprisingly did not annoy me. Also, the film is written really well. It's written by the first, well, it's written by first time writer for like a full le feature length film, and I thought he did a wonderful job in here. Not only does he ma mix comedy with drama, but he also utilizes the drama really well in certain scenes where you really need to be like compelled to care about the characters, and you feel compelled to just care about all these characters and you understand their struggle and I thought that that was done really well. Also this movie is directed brilliantly. Jay Roach does a great job. I didn't really think he'd do that good at a movie like this. I mean, but after or before I saw this with his previous work, but he knocks it out of the park here. He definitely has a lot of shots that look really good. He directs he directs the actors like I said in a great way. And overall, I just thought he was able to mesh together the comedy drama, all the aspects of it very just wonderfully if i did have some flaws which i do I'd, I'd just say that you know the movie was a little bit too long i mean maybe it could have been cut down but i only really want the first act to kind of be cut down because that was probably the most boring part of the movie yeah everything else was actually pretty exciting but the first act of the movie it's kind of just like talking it focuses more on the communism aspect and how he's not able to write screenplays because of this communist party deal and I, I don't know, I just wasn't really as interested in that first act as I was with the rest of the movie. Also, it switches, like, time periods. Like, it's, like, in 1972, then it goes to, like, 1974, then it goes, like, to 1950, and I don't know, it was just a little weird. I mean, I don't even think he was alive in 1974. Maybe I saw something. Overall, though, if you guys haven't seen Trumbo already, I definitely suggest you see it. It's a pretty good movie. I mean, I really enjoyed it. Definitely think it might get, definitely think it'll get some Oscar recognition. So, if you haven't seen this one yet, please check it out. In the end, I'm gonna give Trumbo an A minus. It might start off slow, but after that, the film definitely picks up and gets extremely interesting. All right, guys, so those are my thoughts on Trumbo. Now I want to hear what you thought. Have you seen the movie? Have you not? 
If you did, comment below what you thought of it. If not, just tell me uh, if you want to see it or if you don't. Or if you're indifferent to it, um, share it. Share the video and like it. And just in general, if you want to, share the video and like it. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And until my next review, I'm Mr. 401, and I will see you all later.